Hi friends, how are we doing today? Today we're gonna to can us up some cowboy candy. We love our cowboy candy in this house. Um, we always, even if we go out for burgers like, uh, you know, uh, Red Robin or whatever, we always take us a little jar of cowboy candies to put on our burgers. We love cowboy candy on our burgers. Uh, any kind of hamburger actually, or hot dogs or anything like that, it's, it's really, really good. So we're gonna make us up some today and we're gonna can it up. So uh, I'm gonna first go through the recipe with you. Um, I, I, use, I do my cowboy candy out of this cookbook right here, Complete Guide to Pressure Canning. Um, this is the only recipe that I've used for cowboy candy and I love it. I use a lot of recipes out of this book and uh, I'll put the link down below for this book in the description and, and of course all the ingredients that we're gonna read off right now. Um, but what you're gonna have is um, four pounds of, um, of sliced jalapenos. You're gonna need um, eight cups of sugar and you're gonna need three whole cups of cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar, um, a half a cup of mustard seeds, a half of, um, excuse me, a quarter cup of garlic powder, one teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon celery seed, and one teaspoon cayenne pepper. And um, I will link all of this and put all the directions and everything down below in the description. So let's get going. The first thing we're gonna do is we, we've already done our jalapenos here. I did all my jalapenos and I got everything measured out here. So um, we're gonna combine the um, apple, apple cider, three cups of apple cider in our stock pot. There. And then um, and put everything in there. So then we're gonna put our mustard seeds, um, half a cup of mustard seeds in there. And I guess it would help if I turned the fire on. And then we're gonna have a quarter cup of, a quarter cup of a garlic powder. I'm gonna put just a little tiny bit more because it's really nice. There we go. Okay. We've got uh, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We're gonna do one teaspoon of turmeric. And we're gonna do one teaspoon of celery seed. We need to get some more celery seed too after this. Good thing I wasn't doubling it. I would've had to run to the store. Okay, so we're gonna heat all that up. So in a, in a large stainless steel pot, combine the sugar, apple cider vinegar, mustard seeds, garlic powder, turmeric, celery seed, and cayenne pepper. Bring it to a boil over medium high heat, stirring until the sugar is default, dissolved. Once the mixture is at a boil, reduce the heat and simmer for five minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's, uh, let's move on over here, except we forgot to put our sugar in. So let me go get uh, get us some sugar. Sugar. Now this is going to make uh, sixteen half pints. So um, it's going to make quite a bit. Now I will tell you that when you get when you do this, you'll probably have um, you'll probably have some some juice left over. But you don't want to throw that juice out because uh, that juice makes a very good mar uh, mar um, marinade for um, for chicken or steaks. I usually do it on chicken. I'm having some chicken tonight, so I will probably uh, use a little, little bit on my chicken. But uh, you're just gonna stir this till this comes to a boil. And the sugar is all dissolved. This doesn't take very long. Um, it really doesn't. I mean, I think it. Uh, this has to come to a boil. We boil it for five minutes, and then we're gonna put the jalapenos in there. Everything is like five minutes, you know, and then it only cans for 10 minutes. So it doesn't take very long. I'll show you kind of what it's what it's looking like right now. I don't know if you can see that. I, can't, I don't really want to take you off the 
you can see what it's sort of looking like. So we're just gonna stir that down. Let's get you up straight. Until that comes to a boil. This is so good, this stuff is so good. My son now, he puts it on donuts, he puts it on everything. <laughs> you know, he drinks the juice, he uh, out of the jar, he loves it. My grandson's the same way. I, I catch him at my refrigerator in the jar, drinking the juice, and I said, hey, that's your can now, go take it to the casita refrigerator. <laughs> so and then he laughs and he takes it. But um, we do love our cowboy candy. You know, I saw it for a long time and I didn't know, I just thought it was a candy. I don't really make a lot of candies. So uh, I just bypassed. And then one day, I was when I got this book, I was looking at the recipe and I was like, oh my gosh, that's from jalapenos. And we love jalapenos in this house. So I said, well, we're gonna try some. We're gonna make us some of that. So. We did, and my house has not been without it since. Just, um, you know, I give it away a lot, and, uh, because not everybody can, you know, and, uh, it's best to can it up. So I just want to take a quick peek over here. So we're going to really high stir the sugar so I want to make sure it's going to boil with juice and heat for five minutes. Then we're going to add the jalapenos, mix it on simmer for another five minutes. That's what I thought. And then we're going to fill our jar. So I'm going to go and get my canner going too. My jar is already sterilized and in my oven. So those are all ready to go. Now the main thing uh, about canning uh, it's really about the only rule that I, I, I actually really adhere to and I've never broke a jar and that is you want your product, your jars and your can of water to all be pretty much at the same level like if you're if you're canning something hot then you want your water in the can to be hot and you want your jars to be hot um, as long as you follow that rule you'll never break a jar and um, now, a lot of canners, they uh, they clean the tops of their jars with a paper towel and, uh, and um, vinegar. Now, I use vinegar, but I never use a paper towel to clean the tops of my jars because I was having some uh, a problem with, uh, with some not sealing. And so I switched over to a cotton, you know, like a... Uh, cotton napkin, a linen, something linen. And uh, now I, I have tea towels to, uh, with our flower sack tea towels like it. I usually use an end of those with my vinegar. And I've, I've since I switched over to that, I've never had a jar unseal, uh, not seal. So you just kind of have to find what works for you, you know, uh, uh, the paper towel to me just wasn't working. So, get this to a boil here pretty soon. Back in here, it's making, making some noise. The sugar is pretty much dissolved. Well, it's pretty much about the same though. It's very bright, pretty good. Trying to get you a seat now. What are you doing there? So we're just stirring that up. I would just hate for my phone to come out and drop in there. <laughs> that wouldn't be too cool. <laughs> so we're almost there. So, and I'm just gonna let this run um, the five minutes and the five minutes and all that so you can Just wish I had a better angle for y'all so you can see down in here. We have to work on that. 
put it, you saw what we're putting in here. We're just stirring it until it comes to a boil. Then we just gotta uh, let it boil for 10 minutes. I mean, five minutes. But like I said, it doesn't take long at all. Once you get this to a boil, you're gonna let it boil for five minutes. You're gonna put your jalapenos in, mix them up, let those, bring those back to a boil and let those boil for five minutes. And then you're gonna start filling your jars. And you'll fill the jalapenos first with a slotted spoon into your jars. And then you'll add your juice and uh, I'm not sure what the headspace of this, if it's a uh, half or a full. Let's see what it says here. What inch? What inch? And then, uh, let's see. So I'll get my my rings on. My lid's going. And I um get this boil in. This burner over here is, uh, I think I need a new one. I'm finding it going off on me. In fact, I had my canner over here on this side the other night and it just was not uh, coming to a steam. And I can hear it. Sometimes I don't see it in the house on these, but I can hear, I can tell the sound. And I, it, this, it just wasn't happening. So I turned it over to this burner where I got my canner on and it came up just like that, so. Yeah, I know this burner has an issue. It's on full now. And now it's finally making some progress. I wish I had gas here. You know, I don't know why anybody would want to ban a gas stove because that's just, but we don't have gas. There's certain places here in my city that has gas, but uh, if you're on the lakeside, I think they have gas. Uh, and over by the fire department here has gas. Uh, that's about the only... Now I have seen, uh, when I was looking for a house uh, a while back, I saw a house that they took and they put propane into their house. They wired propane in for their stove so they could have a gas stove. But um, I don't think that's, uh, you know... I wouldn't do that, so I passed on that house, but, um, you know, to each their own, but I would love to have a gas stove. Let's see, it's not quite boiling yet, is it? Actually, it is. So let's give that five minutes. Here. That's very strange. Um, I'm gonna have to fix. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
Alexa, set a five-minute timer. Five minutes. Starting now. Okay. Actually, Alexa, minus one minute. One minute. You have about three minutes and fifty seconds left. Because yeah, I know we messed her up for about a minute there. Okie doke. Now, one thing, I normally put three inches of water in my canner, my All-American, um, but these are just, uh, you know, small half-pint jars, the, the large mouth, but, you know, big mouth. So I only put two inches of water in there. And plus they're only gonna can for 10 minutes, so I don't, I don't like my water in my canner to go over my lids. I'd like them to go below my lids. So if I am doing, you know, a half-pint, wide mouth, then I uh, I will lower my water because I don't want it going over my, going over my uh, jar. So we get this up to five minutes and we're gonna add our jalapenos. Oh, and I guess I'll show you, it's, uh, I'm just gonna hold the phone. It's boiling pretty rapidly. Wonder if I, uh, I'm not sure. Let me just make sure this is really in here tight. Yeah, it wasn't very tight. That's why I was making me nervous. <laughs> okay. You see, it's going oh, really good. So that's that now. Didn't have too much time left. The water here is coming up. Alexa, how much time are we at? You have one minute and 40 seconds left on your four minute time. All right. Alright, we'll just keep it there because we're going to be using that. Okay. Once we put these jalapenos in, this will stop boiling and we'll go down. We'll have to bring it back up. Hey, Charlie. Charlie's not too crazy about jalapenos. <laughs> There's a dog. Okay, Alexa, how much time? Alexa, how much time we got on the timer? You have less than 10 seconds left on your four minute timer. Okay. Okay, Alexa, stop. So I like to use my hand. So here's four pounds of jalapenos, all sliced up. We're going to add those in. Now, when you do these, you can take all your seeds out if you want. We like seeds, and so I don't take my seeds out. But you can take your seeds out. So we're going to mix these all up, make sure these get good in, in, the, in the sauce. We 
this will reduce up as this gets going. Yeah, we don't, I don't remove our seeds because we like heat. Some people don't like heat. And this, this is, these are not very hot. I mean, as hot as like eating a jalapeno once you uh, get this cowboy candy made up and this sugar. See, there goes my burner down again. So I have to like slide this around. There she comes. I need to look into replacing that burner. I have another stove in the garage. I might be able to just take the burner off of that one. Put it in here. All right, as soon as this skims back to a boil, not there yet. We'll give it another five minutes. And that'll be all we have to do until we decide to fill our jars. Yeah. Show you. Here. Is that back to boil yet? When it comes back to boil when we start our timer, I'll show you. In here again. Clean. I just got dirty cleaning it off really good, so there she is. Kind of needs to have some fresh, <coughs> like I said, I only got about two or three jars back there. We eat a lot of hamburgers. <coughs> my COPD makes me cough a lot. I didn't want to start coughing because um, I'll have to go use my inhaler. do that. I think it could be the, um, the jalapenos too. Maybe I'll keep my, my head back a little bit. I've only just been hit with this. I know that I've had it for a long time, but it was never an issue until about a month ago. Actually, right after I started this channel. When I first started the channel, it wasn't a problem. And then about a week into it, Wow, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do anything, so I'll be doing some tests at the hospital next week, and then my doctor promises he'll be able to give me something a lot better. Those jalapenos has got in my throat. I got some cookbooks coming for COPD and um, what we're supposed to be eating, what we're not. I've learned a few things. Um, it's amazing how uh, your inner voice or your, your upper power, you know, your guardian angel, whoever it is, it kind of gives you a little bit of a lead way, like. Uh, it says I'm not supposed to be drinking pop or drink coffee. And I gave up pop about three months ago. Before this hit me, I gave up, we gave up pop. And uh, so now we just drink it. If we go out to dinner, we'll have a pop. 
or if we go get a burger, you know, we'll get a meal, we'll get a pot. Is this boiling yet? Not yet, but I think it's getting close. Let's get the burner back up again. I guess I just have to keep doing that to get the burner back up. If this one's boiling, I could switch them over. I'm tempted to switch them. I think I'm going to switch them. Let me put these over here. Then I'll just switch them back when I get ready to kill the jars. Here we go. here, this side, Let's see there's just gonna start boiling pretty good over here now, this is a much hotter burner, I realized that last night, to a boil. I guess it's because those jalapenos were really cold. Were really cold. That's so, uh, it really brought my temperature down. get my cookbook so I see OBD I might do a video on it and share for people who, who might suffer from that or have a family member that suffers from it and go through uh, what they should be eating what they shouldn't be eating because I, I did read up on it it says that you can't reverse it but you can kind of stop it in its tracks a little bit and uh, keep it where it's at for a while um, oh here we go we're starting to boil now So that's what I would like to do. <laughs> so let me uh, do a five minute. Okay. So we'll let that go for five minutes since we're starting to boil. Not like a raging. So I may go a minute over 
It's just starting to, to boil now. Let me bring it back in so you can see as it's starting to boil now. So that's a real good boil now. Yeah, we might do it like one minute over. All right, and then we're gonna fill our jars. We'll get those going and uh, we'll be canning in no time. I'm going to run over here and I'm going to grab me um, something to put some um, some vinegar in real quick. Show you what I use to, to clean my ribs. I use, uh, what is, does it say flower sack? Yeah, flower sack towels. You get these on Amazon. I have another, I had another whole set of these out there in my garage somewhere, but I, I couldn't find them. I don't know what box they're in. I have a lot of boxes out there. Cause I moved back down here another one of my houses and I this was an Airbnb my house here was an Airbnb for about three years and so when I moved back home I didn't really need much in here because I had everything that I pretty much needed other than my food and uh, so it was rough so I still have a lot of boxes out there that I have to go through so I was kind of waiting for my son to get back home. I thought maybe he could he could take care of that for me since I, unless I get a little better after I have my pulmonary test and stuff. We'll see. But um, 149, 2.49 actually, about three more minutes. It is really going now, as you can see. It's really boiling, really boiling up. I hope that, that steam is Gotta make your, your video bad. But this is what I use to uh, clean my rooms. I need to cut one out into just some squares because I really don't need that big old thing. But, uh, no. What are you gonna do? Let me just read my directions, make sure we're not missing anything. I think what I will do, and what I do, I'm going to bring up all my jalapenos in there, and uh, I really only have one slot of spoon. I need to get me another one. I used to have one. take all of those out because you want to uh, you want to continue to let the juice boil for five minutes after you take your jalapenos out and 
And you want to let it go boil for another five minutes. So we will do that. Then we'll switch this back over here, my counter back on this side after we get our jars in there. Okay, my timer is done. Give it a quick stir. All right. I'm going to take our jalapenos out. Put them here. Let me turn you over here just a little bit. Okay. A little green goodness. Get that spice down my throat again, or I'll start coughing again. So I don't want that. See what we're going to be doing. As soon as that's done for five minutes, then I will uh, switch over by. Uh... Oh, one more thing I got to do while we're. Uh, I don't really boil my lids, but I like to bring them up to a to a heat. So I always rotate them up and down so they don't stick on me. And 
I didn't count. I forgot to count. So, uh, I think this will be good because I think we got. These were done yesterday. I actually canned yesterday some potatoes, but I, I didn't record it because um, I, rest on it. I don't do my potatoes according to FDA guidelines, so I didn't want to be a bad influence on anybody. See what we're doing, right? Okay, here, wait a second. I guess I better put my. Uh... Okay, here we go. So I'm not going to figure them. Okay. So you just want to fill these up kind of loosely. Oh, I know what I was looking for earlier. Plastic. Okay, there's a timer. It's not going to bring our juice over. And uh, our lid on the big burner. Let it just take a couple of minutes. These go in. I feel these till my till my lids get going a little bit. There's 
juice it here so it's get a, so it's a little messy. just about done so let's see three six eight should be about what goes in the bottom here sure that we're gonna get 16 but we should get maybe 12 me like crazy. Okay. Let me bring my jars, my lids over here now. Okie doke. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill That's the juice. We'll have some cleanup after you do this. But I'm used to that with teenagers in my house. I have clean up for everything. It's probably just taxing me wondering if they could cover the house yet. <laughs> but they're not out in the sun, they're in the casita. Okay, so now we're going to, since I don't know where my, yes, we just want to. Make sure we don't got no air bubbles in here. Get that all down. Kids are gonna, I got a chicken out, but I'll bet you anything they're gonna want cheeseburgers tonight with one of these. Juice. Yeah, here they come. They got another door they can go into my granddaughter's bedroom, so. Okay, so now we're going to clean our rims and get these, get these ones here, this is some vinegar. So just take my tea towel, some vinegar. We're going to clean our rims really good. Like I said, I never have an issue with, with the jar not sealing when I use the tea towel. Let me just clean up some of this uh, where my rag is. Disappeared on me. I really need it. I have to go get another one. Let's see. Just here. Really 
to just make a mess. Charlie. Can't go out there. Oh well, let's just keep going. Stop crying. My uh, my chihuahua, I think, is going into heat again. So we're trying to separate them. He's not real happy about that. But she just had a puppy on Easter. She only had one. I just have little chihuahuas. And it died the next day on Easter day. The day after Easter day. No, Easter day, yeah. They were born the day before on the 8th and then it died on Easter day. So... We just want to give her a little break. We're going to let her try a little more time, but not this soon. Okay. I'm going to get this out of all this syrup. Out here. Sometimes I get too the top and they get too heavy for my magnet to pull it up. Those are two of those that have a top. I like my green one better, but I don't have it here. So then we're just going to put our... Oh, that one's not good. Let's throw that one away. And we're just going to barely tighten it. I'm not tighten it very hard. Is it a little hot, though, if you touch? Some of my rings are quite old. Not gonna use that one either. When I go through these, I'm gonna throw some of them away. Losing everything. So let's get these in. I'm going to put these in the canner.
this uh, I fed it together and I'm not going to do it. So now we're gonna put our, our second layer, our second layer on. Okay, this is our first one here. So looks like we only wanna do six more. Get me other thing it jars up. Grab me a fresh tea towel for. We're doing our ribs on this one. Okay. So. We might get four more. I don't know. Maybe only these two, though. But that's okay. Like I said, I usually double this. And, uh, this one I'm just going to keep in the refrigerator so I'm not going to can it. So good. This syrup is really sticky. So I just want to make sure. Got no sticky. All right. Uh, all right, so get those on there. And now I'll change it back over here. Okay, so we're ready to close this up. Here's our American, and we want to line up. Oh, we want to go back over here, though. First of all, we have a little notch here. We have a little notch here. So we want to line that all up. And uh, make sure everything's under. And tighten up. Much better. Much. There. Okay. Now let's 
Oops. Opposite ends on. Let's get those tight down. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I'm going to put this back on high. And we're going to get this rolling. Get this one off. Now, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of take them, I'm going to bring you back when I take them out because uh, it'll be a little while. But we're going to... Uh, Bring this to, to pressure so that it's steaming. We'll be there'll be steam coming out of our of our vent right here. Where are you? Here we go. We'll be steam coming out of our vent. We're gonna let that steam out for 10 minutes. Then we're gonna bring it up to pressure at 10 pounds. Then I'm gonna put my weight on. My weight in my in my area is at 10 pounds. You might be five pounds, you might be 15. You have to kind of look it up. Uh in your uh canning guide but I will put mine on at 10 pounds I will let that uh, pressure pressurize for 10 minutes and then I will remove it I will leave my weight on though you don't take your weight off and I will move this over and remove it from the from the burner and I will let that depressurize and I let mine my all okay when I used to use a presto I noticed that it would depressurize as soon as I got to zero but on my All-American, it does not. It takes a while to depressurize. So I usually wait about an hour and a half. So when it's completely, uh, there's no steam coming out when I take my, my, my weight off, then I will open my canner and I will bring you back. So I'll talk to you about an hour and a half, friends. Have a good afternoon. Hi, friends. Well, it's time to open her up, take out our cowboy candy, and let's take a look. Okay, let's take this over here. All right, there we go. Beautiful, you see that? There's this one. So, <coughs> this is a really fast, fast counting. 10 minutes and it doesn't matter if you do pints or half pints it's still just a 10 minutes and here so happy to have this back on my shelf like i said we only had three no siphoning just beautifully we just have to wash our jars wash them up before we put them on the shelf bring it over here Are you? There we are. They look so good. I wish I could share a jar with all of you. So happy canning. I'll see you tomorrow. And we're going to can some peaches, I think, tomorrow. But we're going to do it outside on my uh, my burner, my electric, my, my propane burner, so that we can, I can show you the steam. I can actually show you the process. But it's hard in here because you can't really see the steam. I only have to go by sound. And then I hit it and I see my steam. And so then I know it's it's venting, you know. But uh, out there, you can see the steam really, really good. So we'll be canning outside tomorrow. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, I really thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Share my video. And we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. We got many more videos to come. Uh, tomorrow actually is my Azure order. I have to pick up my Azure order. So I may do a quick Azure order. Uh, um, I didn't get very much this month, I, everything, but I did get my eggs. I want to show you my eggs. So um, we may do a quick video on that, and then uh, the next day we'll do uh, we'll can our peaches uh, on the outside. So thank you all for watching. Have a great evening, and uh, 
See you soon. Bye-bye, friends.